An election day is tomorrow and several school districts are asking voters for some extra money in Horseshoe Bend. This will be the second time district officials have had to ask for more money after the first levy failed. Michael Locklear explains the cuts the district says will come if voters reject the levy a second time. People will head to the polls here in Ada County and beyond on Tuesday. In Horseshoe Bend, the district is saying every vote counts and if they don't get enough, administrators will be forced to make cuts in and out of the classroom. Horseshoe Bend is the largest city in Boise County with some 700 people. The school district is a small one, asking for $600,000 over the next two years. I've been in this area all my life and this is the poorest that we've ever had the school money wise. If a majority of voters turn down the levy, the district expects to lay off at least one teacher, get rid of preschool, reduce kindergarten to half day and not fund athletics at all. We used to have music, we used to have art, We've cut way down on P.E. The finances just aren't here. One local business owner who did not want to appear on camera told me she's on the fence. The kids are our future, she said, but many in the community have lost faith in school administrators. A former district employee is facing charges for misusing public funds. So trying to get uh, levies passed um, with having the past of, of the public basically not trusting. Uh, the school district has been has been hard, but some hope faith in school district leaders is on the mend. All we have to do is get the people out to vote because you know the naysayers are going to come vote. We need the yaysayers. And if enough yaysayers approve the levy, the Horseshoe Bend School District can keep on keeping on, fund athletics and other extracurriculars, even upgrade decade-old computers. You have to basically duct tape and bailing twine all these older machines, so to speak. Um, they're starting to die off more and more. The cost, about $225 for a $150,000 home. But the district says property taxes won't increase because this is a replacement of the current levy. Some say Horseshoe Bend is a poor community strapped for cash. Others say residents can't afford to deprive students of this money. And the polls in Aiden Canyon County is open tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning. They will be open until 8 o'clock tomorrow night. For up-to-the-minute election results in between newscasts, head to our website, kboi2.com.